hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to be talking about how to change the color of clothes and color of objects in adobe lightroom mobile um if this is your first time coming to my youtube channel kindly subscribe hit the bell icon like this video and share it to other people who you think might be able to benefit from this video and if you are a returning viewer welcome back without further ado let's get into the video okay guys um the application we'll be using in today's video is adobe lightroom and this is the mobile version i put the link in the description below and um, let's just get into the video now um, the reason for this video is to learn how to change the color of clothes to learn how to change the color of objects in adobe lightroom and it's pretty easy but the first thing i'll do before that is to actually treat this picture i want to um make sure the picture pops out so i'll go to light and i'll reduce the highlights to reduce um, the amount of light on his face at this area so i'll reduce it and it introduces a kind of a dark shine on the side of his face now i will now bump up my shadows so that the darker parts of the image are going to become bright now you can see the difference between this and this and you can know which one is actually better i you can also tweak my white i usually used to bring this down and then take my blacks up a bit so you can see the picture is no longer very dark you're not seeing all the details on his face Great. so the next thing we're going to do is to increase the clarity of the picture i want to increase the clarity of the picture yeah and also to increase the sharpening of the picture now this is the way i actually um, edit my pictures to have a kind of a sharper um, effect to it now over to the colors i came for that i'm going to add some masking and um, some brush mask to the eyes i want to treat the eyes i want to make it um white you don't have to be really precise with this but if you can be precise that it's also nice so I'll just go into there and then I'll go to color and I'll reduce the saturation. I'll go to light and increase the highlights. Okay, so you can see the before and the after. You can see the before and the after. You can see the color of the eyes before and now. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to go over to color and go over to mix and then on that mix you have this different colors you have the main colors which is red orange yellow green cyan blue purple and pink okay so um the first thing we're going to note is that the colors of the face lies under red as you can see if i reduce the red his lips become desaturated if i increase it his lips have color again and if I change the hue, his lip changes color and some parts of his face. Now, I don't want to touch his face. And orange has the majority of his face also. So I don't want to touch red, orange. I don't want to touch yellow also. Because there are still some yellow parts of the face. So, what I want to focus on is the cyan and the blues. I think more blues. So, if I go over and reduce it, you can see that this reduces also so i want to increase the saturation of the blues not too much but just a bit and some purple are also on the face i will leave it i'll leave it just the way it is so i'll go over to my cyan or my blues and i'll just drag the hue slider down as you can see it's targeting only the blues in the picture if i drag it up it will change to purple if i drag it up it will change to purple i want it to be green i want it to be green also okay so another way of doing this is to go over to mix and go back to this arrow button and then drag the hue slider down and this is a very more convenient way of doing this or you can drag it up to change to purple but I want to keep it at green and you can also change the luminance which is the brightness 
and the darkness of it so i will just reset it i want to increase it a bit okay i also want to increase the saturation a bit and yeah we have this picture and if i zoom in you can see the before and the after not only did i change the color i also introduced more details into the picture i sharpened it i added some clarity and some texture and now this is the picture so you can see the huge difference this makes to the picture i i think that'll be all for today's video um i hope you guys have learned something new and um with that said see you in the next video peace out